How we doing guys? It is once again time for the rounds. Welcome to the Brew There Drink That family. We bring you the freshest and tastiest in all that brews. That's our commitment. That's our passion. That's what we love. Um, I was jonesing, man. I gotta be honest. I, I jones for my hometown every once in a while, and so it's always nice to travel back in a pint glass, so to speak. So today we're swinging to the heart of Seattle, uh, to the Pike family-owned brewing company. Uh, these guys are located in the heart of Seattle, literally right on top of Pike's Place Market. Uh, fantastic. So you go there, you grab some fresh salmon, some fresh smoked salmon, you have a few beers, you hang out, do your thing. Uh, this is the Old Acquaintance Hoppy Holiday Ale. And this comes in at a very approachable 5.5% alcohol by volume and is brewed with orange peel, coriander, cinnamon, and nutmeg. They call it their very hoppy holiday ale. Or hoppy holiday ale. Sorry, I just threw the very in there. So I got hopes. So, we know we've got orange peel and coriander in there. Those are obviously your two main spices for Belgian white styles. Uh, there's a slew of Belgian whites out there. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to post those. Uh, quick short list. Uh, Dogfish Heads Namaste, uh, Great Divides Double Wit. Um, there are a few other ones out there, but focus today is for Pikes, and we will not betray Seattle. So, I've got a lightly orange to reddish, maybe a rusty kind of color. Uh, little lighter tones of burnt honey around the edge of the glass. Uh, not an overly thick head, tight, compact effervescence off white, and um, looks really nice actually. Mmm. Now I do get a little bit of the cinnamon and some malt sweetness on the nose. Maybe a touch of the nutmeg too. But it looks to be bang on. I would actually consider this to be a malt driven based on the first taste. It's got that sturdy malt backbone to it. And I'm always iffy when breweries start throwing in like cinnamon and nutmeg and grains of paradise and allspice and honestly when your list of adjuncts gets that large it almost sounds more like gin than beer to me. Um, minus your, your difference in the alcohol there. But this is actually malt driven. You got a bit of malt sweetness to it. And these spices are really well balanced. Um, they're kind of providing a whole picture as opposed to one focal point. And you do get still a nice little bit of a hop characteristic at the end. I would not consider it hop forward or not consider it hop aggressive. Uh, this is not an IPA. That is really well done. Not overly effervescent. The nutmeg kind of sticks around as part of the lingering aftertaste. Um, very approachable, extremely well done. And what I love, one of the things I really love about Pike's Place is what a great job they do with their price point. These guys produce fantastic beers and they don't feel the need to charge 130 bucks a bottle. They're not charging you 20 bucks a bottle. Honestly, uh, 22 like this should run you in the neighborhood of five to six bucks. Um, get out there, support them. Uh, if you know anything about beer, or if there's one quick thing that I can tell you, the Northwest takes its beer extremely seriously. Um, so if you do get the chance to try some, do not pass it up. You'd be a fool to do so. Guys, here's to it. This has been another edition of the rounds. As always, it is my pleasure to take you through our wonderful country's best offerings. I will see you over our next pint. Have a great day, guys.